Yeah, I'll upload them tonight. I'll have time to do it. Okay. I just thought that, like, it might be better to just do it entirely from your account, but if it's gonna work on my end, then fuck it. Okay. Anyways, hi! Uh, we're streaming yeah. again, somehow. Yeah. Okay. Also, you can hear both of us, and you can hear the yeah. game. I don't know what um, I did! <laughs> yeah, okay, so what should- okay, so to summarize, um... It's only day two- okay. Uh, Sayaka- uh, Sayaka's dead, Leon was the killer, but Sayaka was gonna kill him. Uh, it's only chapter two, and Biafia's already kind of a sociopath, and Poco's a really creepy, creepy chick. Yeah, I hate Choco. I really don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to voice her instead, or...? I mean... Are you get actually... No, because you voice a lot of characters, and I don't, like, think my voice for... I think my voice there for her isn't great, but it's also not terrible. Like, there's other characters that I think I... Also, like, I'm just asking her. because, like, since you hate her so much. No, no, I don't think that's a good reason. I just don't like her as a um, character. I think voicing her is not really that awful. Okay. Oh, fair warning. Um, also, the reason why my voice quality may have dropped off a little bit is because I'm doing everything with a mic in my ear. So I can't hear myself talk so well. So it's hard to judge how my talk is going. So we have free time today. I don't know how. I'll explain that later. But anyways, um, I don't know who you want to talk to. Uh... Is this, I don't... Oh, okay. Uh... Dude, I think we did Celeste the last time. And for some reason, the computer's just, like, running better. You know, I closed some programs last time. I wonder if that fixed it. Like, what did you close? I closed one that said, like, Windows Problem uh, Manager or something like that, and I closed it. I wonder if that fixed it. More like win Windows Problem Causer. Yeah, really. Funny joke, huh? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> got him! <laughs> Right, so, uh, what are we doing? Um... I'm sorry, I'm just staring at Wanda's face. No, nah, I'm just trying, it's to, I'm like trying to think. It's like his hair has become his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. It's like a croissant. <laughs> I wonder if you could eat it. It looks edible when you look at it. <laughs> it looks like a cornucopia. <laughs> that, I mean, that's a thing. Like you only know, you only know that word because of Hunger Games. Let's all be honest. No, I know because from from school about Thanksgiving. Sure, it's a true. A likely story. It's totally true. <laughs> well, you do have a really good memory, so maybe. Uh, I don't know whether to do Kirigiri or Asahina again. Up to you. I think I think the last one we did was Celeste. Uh, you were doing Asahina a lot because you were you were worried she was gonna die. I can tell you right now, this is definitely the last free time we're gonna get before the murder happens. Uh, Asahina. Wow, I can get you real fast. All right, Asahina. Then. Yeah, because I think Celeste will mm -hmm. end up killing someone. I think. I so. don't think she'll do it yet. I I think she. I think the likely suspects to do it next are Byakuya or Toko, but like, yeah. If what, I, you, if what you think about Tangan Rumpa is true, where like, they'll have a, they usually say the case where like, you hate the person you know they did it, I think Byakuya will be later. Yeah, but, that's what I think too. Sorry, I um, forgot where she was. Oh, I think not okay. Myself. But um... Oh, I can't talk, teleport, but she's in the laundry, so it's fine. Um... Yeah, I... I think Celeste is gonna be one of those characters where, like, she's going to kill someone, but it won't be until later. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. Do we have a press yes. for her? Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. We gotta do the same thing! Cooperate so we can survive! Please don't die. <laughs> hmm, should I hang out one with Hina for a while? Yes. You wanna go for a run to relieve some of the stress? Sure. Hina and I went for a light run through the school. I wonder where they went. Do they, like, just jog, like, two feet and back? Like, 
How does that They work? probably run in the gym, maybe. Oh, good point. That is a pretty big gym. Ian and I grew- oh, I don't need to say these. I hope we have a present, I don't remember. Oh, we have some coke. Yeah. That seems bad, but she seems to like sweet things, so there's that. What is this? Everlasting. Oh, uh, that sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh... What the fuck is this garbage? Where? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it, it, okay. I thought it was like some random person's pants. I'm like, why do I have this? Oh yeah, she. There's that. That's not. Uh, no. no one wants this. Raise your hands. Raise your spirit. Oh, <laughs> That's really bad, dude. What's that? Was that berserker armor? Yeah, it is. The wear with the bed power and the costume. What the fuck? Self-destructing cassette. <laughs> I don't see a recorded message. Wow. Why would you want that? I don't know. Oh, we lost the person who would want this. Yeah. He did. What? That's gotta be for, um... Uh... Third point, dude. Oh, yeah. Great. You can have it. Uh... She can have a rock? Do you think she likes rock? Uh... Wait, that sounded... that looks funny. Yeah, probably. The second button. That's gotta be Taka. What? What is this? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's a thing. Green costume, red costume. Uh. I don't know what to give her. Well, no, none of this stuff's any good, dude. Maybe she'll like bracelets, I don't know. What <laughs> you decide? Honestly, like the Coca Cola sounds like something she would drink. That's the only thing I could think of. Yeah. Give her Cola Cola. <gasps> hey, thanks. I'm super stoked. Does that mean she liked it? Ah, uh, uh, so hungry. Makoto, oh help God. me! I'm hungry! <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed so to do? Uh, I need food. Anything. I don't care for the stack of paper. I need food. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just eat some more donuts? I can't! That's my secret weapon! For emergencies only! I like if it. I kept gorging on something with that many calories, I'd get fat in no time! So even she so even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is an athlete. Besides, I don't want anything sugary. Right now I want a salty snack. Like potato chips? Mm. Like ramen. How is that a snack? Huh? How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and all, so... Yes. I'm a porktastic tonkatsu girl through and through! Oh, okay, so Or she you don't care about calories at all. <laughs> the key element of any tonkatsu ramen is the flavor of extra fat. <laughs> so you're okay with all that oil? Uh, uh, talking about it just make me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I could make it to the dining hall. Are you sure, though? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't you? What, are you afraid? Uh, afraid of ramen? Man, she's going to die. <laughs> oh. You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Uh, are you are still you? Hina? Shut up! Get out of my way! I'm going to show you what a real man looks like. <laughs> Or are you gonna stand in my way and suffer the fifth base consequences? Uh, no. I have no intention of getting in your way. Yes. Then don't! If I don't do this now, when am I ever gonna get another chance? Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off <laughs> at a dangerous clip <laughs> towards the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina is terrifying. She's great. <laughs> She's gonna die. <laughs> See you later, Hina. Good to, uh, good to know. Uh, 
Oh, I really hope. I learned my uh, lesson and made my way back to my room. Maybe she'll live. Maybe you just said, like, maybe, like, I don't know. Maybe when you said that only the boring characters live, maybe you considered her boring. Hopefully that was the case. Do you consider her boring? No, I like, oh. Then she's dead. <laughs> yeah, but you Terrible. said that. Yeah, but you said like only the boring characters survive, and maybe she does live, and you just considered her boring or something. No, I like her. Crap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Me too, buddy. Hmm. Oh, hi, Kyogary. Oh, hey, it's Talk to her. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Yeah. Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? So. I can't imagine it's going to be good news. But it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Hey, so... Fair, your mic is recording through whatever thing is broadcasting the volume of this game too, so you're slightly quieter than I am. So you might want to like turn up the uh, go to your so go to your settings on um, Discord. Okay. And go to the voice and video, and then just turn up your input volume a little bit, maybe a lot bit. How's this? Is this good? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh god, lag. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, that's Mondo. Oh my. Okay. I'm like running for grades right now. Oh. Well, I'm running, I'm running cord, and I'm running the game, and I'm streaming the game to you, and then I'm also recording. And then Steam is in the background as well. Maybe I can get rid of that. Okay. Do you want to talk to Mondo or you want to go to the gym? Uh. Gym. Okay. Fuck you, Mondo. <laughs> Where's the chip? Is it? Uh, it's through here, isn't it? It's yeah. All, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go like all the way through. Nope, wrong way. I know where I'm going. I don't, know I don't actually know where I'm going. Here, let's use this. I'm going to just assume what you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't like him. <laughs> hmm. Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Sate. Indeed. What might await us this time? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps things interesting. That's for certain. Uh, now that you can hear his laugh, you, like, changed it a little bit. Last time you did it, you, like, you nailed it. Like, it was almost pitch perfect. Aw. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, let me try it again. No, it's okay. Uh, how, how is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? 
Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. There's something totally messed up with you if you could laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which one of us is actually messed up? Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone. But I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. Hey, were we missing someone? When we came to the gym? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't Toko, look, but... I don't know if Toko was there. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I was just admiring how you can live like that and still keep your sanity. I'm not, de I'm not denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whatever would come after us? Or would, co would come help us? <laughs> I was like, wait. Damn. It's okay. How did that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. That's just... I wonder what actually happened. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. <laughs> this is gonna be weird. The police suck! <laughs> oh, my oh, voice... <laughs> my, my voice room is, like, really bad right now. Maybe I should, like... Close my mouth. No, that was good. Okay. Mm. Uh. On the contrary, the mastermind may be, may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Oh yeah, you said that earlier, right? You said that maybe they paid him off? They paid the school off? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this might be related. That might not be related, but... <laughs> oh my god. Wait, who was the person who basically became the redneck? Was it Monokuma? It was Monokuma. No, I... No, I didn't... I, oh, that's right. I said he might be the redneck. <laughs> a a close-minded redneck from Texas. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't accept... That means... No, new we, ideals. That means that we found out who who is being Monokuma. It was Yasuhiro! It was! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I knew it all along! <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Just don't say it. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna say it. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. Like you always do. <laughs> when all of a sudden, I heard it. Uh, you heard what? Hmm. A sound. I don't really know what it was. <clears throat> well, what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. Fantastic story. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> I really got so much information out of that. <laughs> Thanks, <you> guys, hero. <laughs> Good to have you. <laughs> Fuck this guy, man. Uh, <laughs> but if I had to describe it, it was like a construction site, I guess? A construction site? I mean, I could I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. It must have just been the sound of the ocean at the, the, the head of yours. What the fuck is this? <laughs> uh... uh... This is. Hey, what? What'd you talk about, Toko? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I can't do that voice. <laughs> what is happening? Was that Monokuma? That said that? What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <sighs> He's arrived. Boop, 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 boop. What Hero said wasn't the sound of construction. But it could have been an explosion. Huh? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> that could sound like construction in a way. Oh, the machine gun. In the bathroom. Or not the bathroom, in the... In, where the pool is. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> 
beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. Okay. It's a secret little secret. So did they? Fine. Then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us here? Hanya, hanya. You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? <laughs> Ready for me to get to the point, huh? See, even he's becoming the red heck. Yeah, it's the hero, you're revealing yourself! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> but before that, do you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My, stitching, my stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking, probably because probably of this whole hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Mm. Listen, can I just be frank? <laughs> the next wagon hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored! I know, ne. So I decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some, some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! It's just awful! Yee, I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore! No matter what you do, I swear to god, we won't! Aww. That's very big pop. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So, this time it's... <laughs> embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating on my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. Oh shit! I just realized in this picture, in this picture, that like Kyoko and Makoto's and like at least half of these envelopes are just like completely not touching anything. Like his hand only has up to oh, yeah, you're not <laughs> and the rest of them are just like, yeah, we're going down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yikes. I want to know Byakuya's. Oh my gosh. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. Oh, that's why, because he was tossing them. Oh, okay. okay. That, that, that scene makes more sense. I was like, wait. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. That's it? I mean, that's your line. Oh, until. Okay, never mind. That's your line, though. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. What? <laughs> How? <laughs> How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then. Oh, dude. All your deep, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. <laughs> oh, Bianca, it's either Bianca or Celeste. Yeah, oh my gosh. That does sound yeah. likely. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate? Boop, 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 boop. Yep. You got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... We'd never kill over something like that. <laughs> What'd you say? He's right! Your plan is doomed to fail! No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing! Hey, Dude, you you oh no... Is it because, better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? 
I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive! Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then 24 hours. I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Bye. So sad, so depressed. They're not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monica receded into the gym's depths. Uh, I'm not I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Mm. I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. But it's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! Why don't we just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? If we do that, any long amount of murder will vanish! Let's let it out, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I d d don't want to hear your stupid s s story! <laughs> or your s s stupid face dropping! <laughs> Dummy! <laughs> <laughs> What? Besides, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care, c c care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. Oh shit! Neither do I. Because it is unpleasant. Because it is unpleasant. But because it is impossible. Cool. Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on. It'll be good for you. <sighs> Wait, her secret's <sighs> impossible? Absolutely not. Hoody <laughs> hoody. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> As I said. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really, I'm succeeding at making it really annoying. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard! No! <laughs> I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. No. What do you think, Chihiro? Go Go I don't really want to talk about it right now. But I also don't want to think the way they are. Oh, well, maybe I can talk about it later. I'm sure I try my best become strong, then I can tell everyone. Uh, I'm not if you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. So done, uh... If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the ones that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, well that's okay then. Either way, it's just a few secrets. I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. Yep, they are. <laughs> the Akia. Or Celeste, yeah, they look like likely targets right now. I hope you're right. The secret's so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? The Akia. <laughs> okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... Each of us has 24 hours to get ready! Having our secrets and exposed isn't gonna be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it! Die cause of me! Die cause of me! <laughs> what? Oh, get home! Don't do anything hasty! Hello. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Die cause of it! Die cause of it! Die cause of it! Die cause of it! Oh my god. Oh! Uh, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... Hmm. Nap time already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. So done. Good idea. We need to prepare for it. What the fuck happened there? We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. 
One by one, we headed back to our room. I'm wondering about what Celeste said. She said her... Her secret her was secret. impossible, yeah. But... <clears throat> How? What does that even mean? Maybe it's something that like couldn't possibly happen, you know? Like maybe oh, like maybe, maybe like she lost one? No, maybe like no, maybe like like what was written on there is like something ridiculous. Like and then Why? your mom turned into the sun or something stupid like that. Oh. But it might not be that, but you get what I'm saying. Like something that would just yeah. not be legit, or at least seems like it can't be legit. Oh, so... Oh, but I thought he said it was a secret that Monokuma himself dug up about everyone. Yeah, so assumedly they're true. So it could be something very bad for her that seems impossible that maybe isn't. Yeah. Anyways, secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap, Mo crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. And we skipped. We're definitely not watching this one. Oh my god. Bye 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 bye. That long, huh? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just gonna let people read it. Morn King. Good. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Ah! Oh, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing here? Boom. I want to spice things up. So instead of school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Oh, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> because it's fun. Hey, and as long as I'm here. I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth! Hear what? Boop, boop, boop. Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? What? Anya, anya. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Your face is all blue. Like, someone on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? Boop, boop. <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what if they're pointless? Especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Yes, you should be there, like, a minute ago. Yeah, really? <laughs> oh, thank god Asahina's there! Okay! <laughs> oh, thank god! <laughs> Corey oh, is god, safe. I thought she was dead! I thought she was dead! <laughs> ah! Makoto! Uh, are you okay? Oi. Did Monokuma talk to you, too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Yaki, yeah. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> and if they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, <laughs> or they're fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Moshi. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. <laughs> that sounded so bad, man! <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? Where's everyone? Where are they? <laughs> After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. So if something really did happen, does that mean someone because of what happened yesterday? 
It can't be! That stuff was just a bunch of old memories! <laughs> just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? Huh. To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? Yeah, I was thinking this the whole time. It was like, yeah, we thought it was stupid, but someone could have gotten something legit. Like, jeez. Yeah, like... Yeah, like... Celeste lost the game. Yeah, I felt like but they she, were... Sorry, go ahead. But she, like... Her entire thing is that, that she thinks she's programmed to win everything. Oh yeah, then like, like yeah, that would make sense. That maybe that's yeah, why she, she thought like, it was... she thinks that because like she has luck. That means it's like she's genetically programmed to win at everything. Yeah, and I guess that might be what she was thinking. Actually, that does make sense. Well, we'll, we'll find out, I suppose. <laughs> why didn't you say something yesterday? Tozenda. <laughs> you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. <laughs> what good does it for me? What good does it to me? Oh, what good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Stop saying that already! What? Uh. There's something wrong with him, for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something by the government? What? Maybe drink the water of the gay frogs? My god, lord. Get government's making gay frogs. Lord. Frogs making gay. <laughs> what is that from, by the way? It's Alex, it's Alex Jones. Just look up Alex Jones memes and I don't you'll think, find I don't think I want to, but thanks. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Pretty great. Oh, lordy. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. Maidaro. She's right. Begin looking. I feel like it's much more balanced how many characters we have now, because like all your characters died. <laughs> Although you still have Monokuma, which is a big part. I have Monokuma, I have Byakuya, I have Clairvoyant. But we don't know where Taka... Hold on, hold on. We don't know where Taka... Here, hold on, let me get out the report card. Yeah, get out the report card. We don't know where Taka... Yeah. Mondo. Yeah. Kifumi. Yeah. And Celeste. And Kyoko. And Toko are. Well, yeah, we only have four people here, so we don't have that many. So that's six people unaccounted for right now. Yeah. We'll see who loses a voice today. <laughs> I think he's crazy, but I don't know if he'll kill someone. Unless he killed someone here. I <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. Because, I mean, just because he's here doesn't mean he didn't kill someone. Yeah, exactly. They could have killed them at nighttime. That's probably what happened. Uh, where are we going? Uh, the the pool. The pool? Okay. Yeah. Check there first. See if I can remember how to get there. Oh, jeez. Uh, check the gun. Is that over what we said? This that's what it said last time. Well, yeah, but I was wondering if it was fired at all. No, I know, I know. But I don't know why it didn't... whatever. Okay, let's go to the boys' room. Huh? The door's open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? Investigation? Investigation? Just as I thought. Byakuya? Judging, judging from what he said, there can be no doubt a murder has really taken place. C come on! <laughs> In the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Huh? 
suspicious. <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. We we'll start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering, as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh no, she here! Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot about her. Oh yeah. no! Yeah. I didn't want to tell you, but yeah. She Damn! Was, she was my favorite, too. So that this part Damn! <laughs> it's always the characters you like! <laughs> I'm so sorry that we didn't do her at all. It's okay, that's what Dog on Rope was all about. You don't do them and then they die! <laughs> Dang! Alright, whatever. What? I don't know how long it took me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did... <laughs> okay, I didn't have to do that one, so that was nice. Yeah. A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Dun-dun-dun! You wanted to you wanted to start there because you wanted to travel in your masterpiece, didn't you, Biakia? Alright. Oh but wait, no, that doesn't make sense. It's in the girls' locker room, so it's either Coco or Celeste. Yeah. Right? Well whatever. Anyways, I gotta go to the restroom. Alright. But no, couldn't they have taken a card? No, if they did, they get shot up on sight. So that narrows down only to the girls. Yeah, it would have to be either Celeste or... It would have to be either Celeste or Toko. Hello. Let me get some water, too. Oh, it has to be either Celeste or Toko. Well, wait, let's get to the then again, this is Then again, then again, this is Dongon Rampa. I mean... Yeah, I mean, like, we saw the Leon thing before, but, like... It, to a person that hasn't played Phoenix Wright games before and experienced people writing uh, the murder person's name, I don't, anyone, I don't think the person would realize that. Like me? Are you making a, a no, statement? Not, <laughs> no, not. No, I. No, it's okay, I'm just dumb, it's fine. No, stop, no, it's not what I meant. <laughs> no, like, yeah, it's pretty obvious to those people. I don't know why I missed it. Anyways. Well, I don't, well, <laughs> well, I think also just because, like, like you said earlier, like, I have a better memory, I mean, or, like, a, a good memory, like. No, you do have a better memory, and then, yeah, no, I don't know, you're better at these kind of games for sure, that's also true. Anyways. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me, like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Yakuya, on the other hand... Most unusual, don't you think? Can you just imagine this scene? He's going like, ah! And Byakuya's like, just while, like, while he's screaming, he's just like... Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, really, right? <laughs> like, like we're uh, at that. Uh, <laughs> he was totally calm. Almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. Naruhodo. Look, Hero's corpse has been suspended somehow. Something's been written on the wall in blood. In blood loss. <laughs> Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her! How could it not be brutal? <laughs> no, 
That's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any damage, any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> did this. Did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. Before I could even begin to clear my head. Hey, I heard screaming! Did something! Alright, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Dog on Ropa, but every time there's a murder, ta Taka explodes in Dave's boots. Okay, so then that means that we were the first three to discover it, right? Yeah, Biaki, yeah, myself, Biaki, uh, and Taka. Yeah. But that still doesn't mean he's entirely guilt-free. Okay. What the hell was that? Nanda. Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka's, so you don't know about it. What, what you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement place to let everyone know. Oh, I didn't know they hadn't already told us that. Oh shit. Oh well. I didn't know either. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can be proceed proceeded fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? <laughs> the, the body discovery announcement? The Chiro really is! Bozenda. Dead. Yes. No. <laughs> Before you start screaming your head off, go around everyone up. It seems another game has begun. <laughs> another life or death game to uncover a killer. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and float away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Can we go to the game any real quick? <laughs> go, 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 What did you say? Um, can we look at the school rules real quick? I'm, so, I'm sorry, I know it's supposed to be a serious period of time, but just Well, like, the game is not totally serious. Yeah, I know. Go, go, go. Uh, what did you want to look at? Um, the thing about going into the opposite, uh, locker rooms. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, loaning is to another student is strictly prohibited. Uh, that's the only one. They, he added okay. this one later, but going into the other locker room would get you shot by the Gatling gun. It's not in the school rules, but you'd be dead. Yeah, I'd be... Okay, then... Okay, then a guy wouldn't have done this. Yeah, I guess so. Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. I'm sorry, I'm going real Batman for this one just because it's okay. funnier. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another murder victim! <laughs> Which means we are now in the same position once again. No. Fuck, man. No, 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 what no. the fuck is this? No. It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all this is a dream. <laughs> in fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't even have every memory of being alive. <laughs> okay, he did that one for me. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, the calendar. Something's written on it. Oh, there's something on the face. Wait, look at the wall. Mm -hmm. Are these letters? On the wall? Okay. Oh, well, okay. Well, they forced it. Yeah. 
The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. I don't think this is any, I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. Mm. But boy, you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it kind of sound familiar? <laughs> A murderous fiend who comes again and again using the bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own. Whoa, what about this? A serial killer? <laughs> it looks like it. What the fuck? <laughs> whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Uh oh. Don Gon Rompa what broke Cory's fridge. <laughs> whoa! One of us is a serial killer? I mean, that's what it sounds like, or at least someone's copycatting it. They're like a ghost. Attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what did the and what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? <laughs> Genocide, Jack! <laughs> what the no? <laughs> That's not how that was supposed to go! <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect character! <laughs> the perfect voice for that to- For that to- <laughs> It's like it's a fucking episode of Moonshiners and they're talking about- <laughs> Give me some of that genocide Jack right there! Damn! Mm, that's good stuff right there! <laughs> we, we out there to get this genocide Jack? Uh, I think you might be in this forest, we put this, this, this log trap in, there's, uh, oh. some... <laughs> I seen him just around the holler! Oh, let's go get him! <laughs> go get him, go get him, go get him! <laughs> we have second amendment rights! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I regret playing this game at all now. <laughs> no, you don't. No, that I is don't. a lie. <laughs> it's it's totally a lie. Anyways, oh. Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend who grisly attacked was famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of a normal, downright cruel killing. And this is. Copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? <laughs> Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. Ah! For real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack's here for school? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> so much. There's no way! Hmm. Not going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene. I'm surprised at their stupidity. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. <gasps> ah! <laughs> what is it now? Coco! Yeah, cause she... Oh, what? Hina was pointing toward the entrance to the girls' locker room. Huh? Ah. Huh? Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. No, 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 why? Why? Da, da, da. Why? I can't do it. I don't, I, I don't want to wake up the neighbors. <laughs> Good dunk. What kind of fucking sound effect is that? Yeah, right. <laughs> She fainted! That did not sound good! This <laughs> is pretty funny. Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her away. Uh -huh. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Mm. Oh, that's right. I just remember what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. So she's hemophobic? I imagine she doesn't watch too many horror films then. What? 
This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, she technically passed out somewhere besides her room. No, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping. Like, on purpose. Mm. Pause. Oh, sure. No, 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 just like... Why would you think of that at a time like this? <laughs> I know. I what? hate him. I know, I oh, hate... Like, what? Why would... Oh, not that one. Yeah, she passed out! It's fine! <laughs> it's fine! Don't worry, she can only choke on her own saliva. No biggie. Why, oh. dude? Like, I, like, I think it's okay. It's not part of the regulation. <laughs> I know. I he's think a, it's okay. He's a bitch, man. <laughs> ah, so since she didn't say it on purpose, she doesn't count? Gotcha. <laughs> he's, he totally is. Coco, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she'd heard her. Toko suddenly shot awake, as in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She left straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time oh! flat, she was just oh, oh, standing up. Oh, Ignoring the oh, physical contortions she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? What? What the... <laughs> Okay, I'll try this. Sorry about sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know? Happens right. It happens, right? Was I the only one? T Toko? Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, you dead! No! <laughs> oh! 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 She did it! Okay. Like, there's no doubt. Like, what the f- <laughs> Oh. Um. Apparently, um. apparently he's been knocked speechless, everybody. Apparently. <laughs> oh. We'll have to take a break. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. The world has a, the world has a front and a back, top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. Hello. And it is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. Uh. No, 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 everything's uh. fine. At least the stutter's all gone. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? <laughs> it's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Oh. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. No, let's lock her off! She friggin' did it! I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Yes, mm -hmm. let me go with you! If you need no. help, I don't mind. No! Taka, Taka, could you help me? <laughs> huh? She totally yeah, ignored me! <laughs> Very well. You take care of the girl and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. And I assume nobody has a problem with leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again. Hold on a second. Rushing to an investigation. <laughs> the mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Wait, what does he mean by that? I think he means that. The mastermind isn't behind that. Huh? Maybe he means the mastermind Maybe. of the murder isn't behind. What? You know what? I don't care. Mm. There's no. Oh, I think. Oh, he was, he was that... cutting us off from saying it's the mastermind's fault. Yeah. There's no question that your hero was murdered by someone among us. <laughs> Isn't that right, Monokuma? Monokuma! Right as rain. But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life. Because yeah! that's how graduation works. Dang. <laughs> then it's happened again. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us, another one of us, killed a fellow classmate? Hmm. Why? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? Huh. Huh. 
This place has nothing down there at all? <laughs> well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any either! <laughs> Sorry! What the fuck? Got money. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it right. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I sure did, top chum. Um, that's the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. So, do you see your very tippy top best on this investigation? Do we really gotta do another investigation? Dude, Toko did it. Examining the corpse of one of our friends? Having to suspect all our other friends? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. I hate it too! I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Useless. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. Damn! <laughs> yeah, what a meanie. You are very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? Uh, I'm gonna put this on auto. How do I do that? I don't... Escape mm -hmm. gives me controls? Okay. Auto, space key. Tools and up. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump to it so into it so soon. Nanda. What? Do you want to die? Mm -hmm. Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now. Go ahead. No waste of space. A dead body is an object? Jihiro wasn't an object! Show a little respect or I'll beat some into ya! Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what the idea said. Kyoko? If we don't stop in this greed by the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if the Akio is right against that Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro. So yeah. And unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. Forget more That's victims. Right. If we mess this up, we're all dead meat. Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. In, one, in any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. Huh. Interesting. <gasps> what? I don't remember any rule like that. I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would all be over, right? Okay, then. Not up. In that case. Why not limit it to one person? I know me! Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Hmm. I can't say I understand this thing. But if we can kill uh, two people, then one more person's life would still be in danger. <laughs> oh, most it's it's which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. Oh, that's weird. I wonder why he says that's not good. <laughs> you need to shut the fuck up! I was trying to think what you was. Uh. Whatever. Omaya? Uh, Omaya? Oh no, Omaya is not... Is not me? Or like... No, Omaya, yeah, Omaya and then... I forget the other one. Whatever. Oh well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her room. No, we're all going to do it together. Nice! I'm gonna get dropped off! <laughs> we have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Tote sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro... We will all quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. 
Uh, so I'm gonna give you a choice here. I've only got about a half an hour more before I gotta go. Do you want to stop oh, it here, or do you want to keep going for the half an hour mm -hmm. and then like keep going for the half an hour? I don't really care. We got. I yeah. Okay. All right. I yeah. This is huge. Okay, let's see that Monokuma file. Sure. First of all, I'd better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The yeah. cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. Okay, so she oh. wasn't killed by the gun. So that's it. That's good. No. That's all it says. Also, no one Wait. seems to have any wounds from that thing either. So, it seems so like it must... Wounds. What? Oh, uh, wounds, you said? Yeah, from the gun. The... The, well, we can go yeah. check it later, but if the gun wasn't fired, then assumedly it has to be a girl. Yeah. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Wait, then that... You mean, so some... <laughs> wait, so... They did all that tying up after she was already dead? Yeah. Seems like it. Dang. Hey, Makoto. Do you have a second? Huh? Did you need something from me? Tozenda. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so what did you need? Huh. I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Hmm, that's suspicious. Huh? Nanda. I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. To solve? No, I just- Damare to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So you're inviting me to come with you? You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Ikuzo. Now then, shall we get started? But... We need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened. But it looks like I'll be working with Byakuya on this one. Uh, that calendar. Or, there's like a picture of a girl, but there's blood on it. I think it says the, something. The poster's got some blood on it. It must have happened during the murder. Oh, okay. Uh, the, okay, then the dumbbell. That looks like a murder weapon. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and... This is a blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Thanks, Bakuto. Very, very good observation. Thank you. <laughs> the Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? So. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. Um. I guess bloodlust. The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. What's the meaning behind it? Bloodlust. Uh, the blood splatter on the floor. There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. Must have been splattered with bud blood during the murder. Uh, then I guess the body. I could feel the life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. Shihiro's dead body. Myodana. But the more I look, the more strange it all seems. This must be Genocide Jack's handiwork. Well, but... Nanda. But we're still not sure he did it. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> I wonder about that. <laughs> um... I think we're, um... No, I, I don't think we can leave yet. I can try. Uh... Mm, hold on. We still have more to check here. Yeah, okay. Um... The camera. Surveillance camera. The Mastermind must have been watching as Chihiro was killed. They know what's happened and they're still forcing us to go through with this. Um... We can check. Uh, press it again. Um, 
let's ask Saki Sakura. Mm. I use this locker room all the time. Now it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else, then carried here. <laughs> she was very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her. But still. Doug. I still think she came here on her own, by choice. What makes you say that? Yeah. <laughs> She's been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise? But according to the Monokuma file, she, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Hina or myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Oh. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. We could only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came here, came to exercise in the middle of the night? Perhaps. But it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. I needed like break one. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come in, come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she also would have come come with someone else. <laughs> it's a possibility, I think. Okay. Uh, maybe Mondo. Okay. I don't know what he would do. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard Chihiro talk about it, right? All I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. It's really too... Okay, whatever. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't that all that strong. I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about all that stuff. The cause of Chihiro's complex. Can't help wondering what it might be. Mondo's account has been added to the show. I don't know why I said that. I'm not paying attention. Now I believe it's time for us to move on. Huh? Already? Nanda. May please don't actually appear that's sitting around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. That's true, but... Ikuzo. Satisfied. Let's hurry up and proceed. He's so pushy. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. <laughs> so this is our next location. Huh? This place is related to the investigation? <laughs> Figure it out for yourself. It's not fun if we don't, right? It's like he's telling us that he did it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping all that, like, bing is not coming through on your side. It is, but that's okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying to, like, move it. Because, like, yeah, maybe I can, like, turn off notifications from this group. Oh, what I should do. See ya. No mentions I want. Um, oh, we should check the gun. The gun yeah, the gun. Was it fired? Maybe this gun was used to... No, impossible. If that was true, Chihiro would be riddled with holes. That's true, uh, but like, was it fired? Well, whatever. Uh, maybe, we can, maybe we can talk to Biafia. Okay. <laughs> okay, at least try and figure out where we should check. Where yeah. we should check on my health. Okay. That means he's the partner character. Talking to him is generally going to be useless. Okay, so, okay, so the um, e-handbook thing. The scanner. If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work with our handbooks, right? Nanda. Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that, then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Do you call for me? Has he been domesticated? So. 
seems that Makoto has a question for you. Nankayo? Sure, what's up? Uh, well, it's just about this card reader. Hmm. Yes, the card readers have all been designed to interface with each of your handbooks, e-handbooks. You can only enter locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. Hmm. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? And if there were some sort of if there was some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl. The ceiling mounted Gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. <laughs> and the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbook, correct? Martino. Correct, correct. So then that means only girls can go in the girls' locker room, and only boys can go in the boys' locker room. In other words, to hear his body being found in the girls' locker room means... Only a girl did it. Hey, Makoto. I can see right through you. See right through me? <laughs> Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since you hear was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. Somebody. As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Good lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? <laughs> you should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer hasn't been in front of you the entire time. Learning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. Oh! <laughs> I expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the, re in the regulations. <laughs> Knowing you, I bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. <laughs> You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Boom. Got it. Got it. Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it. So, uh. My... So sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like the Akia and get your poop together. Or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence. No more questions. Figure the rest here on damn self. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking in mental faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? <laughs> That'll help you understand what's going on. Okay. We came we came to the main hall. So what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? Uh uh go to the right. Go to that box. Box There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an e-handbook. No, wait, there's three of them. Three of them. But what are they doing here? <laughs> so you finally found them. I got them the first try. <laughs> huh? Did you know these were here, Byakia? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. What? So then these three handbooks belong to... Sayaka. Junko, Leon, and Sayaka? <laughs> you can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and when I did... You're right! This is Sayaka's handbook! <laughs> now, do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. Pay closer attention to the regulations, regulations, 
the answer has been right in front of you the whole time. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Loading your e-handbooks and other students is prohibited. 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 <laughs> Only well, yeah, act of owning a hand book is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. fine, fine, fine. God damn. <laughs> See? Yeah, now I understand. Hmm. He's being pretty helpful. Nanda. He's being too helpful. Yeah. Hold on a second. What's wrong? Nyodana. That's strange. One of the handbooks. Won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other hand I showed Juno's name when I started it up. And the one won't... There, the... There! Nailed it. Voice acting 101. Right. Then the one that won't turn on must be... Leon's, right? Naruhodo na. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. Memories that came flooding back. That cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. Cruel, heartless death. You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! hey. What? That e-handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way we'll break that easily. Huh. But it did. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break! It can withstand up to tons of pressure, and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it wouldn't do crap! Oh, but, uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does? It's a secret! I wouldn't want you breaking any more handbooks! It's kind of important! Whatever, a dude! Little bit. None. <laughs> then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hey, no. hmm, hard to say. You know what I think? I think this handbook isn't actually broken. But you know, you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. It bothers me too. What has he done? <laughs> okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. <laughs> to be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a snack. I'm hungry. Yeah, go grab a snack. I'll figure this out. Okay. What could Leon have possibly done to maybe break it? No? No? Hmm. Well, maybe it's not working. No. Let's not worry about that right now. What matters is right now is that anyone could have done it. Yeah, anyone could have done it. Hmm. 
So right now, Yaki is saying that anyone could have done it. Hello. So Byaki is saying that anyone could have done it then. Yeah. Like that's the point right now. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Also, what the heck does he want me to? I guess talk to him. I don't know. I don't know either. What do you mean by that, Byakia? To be exact, not quite. <laughs> Certainly, I want to reveal the hero's killer, but more precisely, huh. I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think? You truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Absolutely. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. That murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? There's nobody else it could be. <laughs> a murderous fiend kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost. Attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. Hold on, let me finish these chips. I'm sorry. I'm... Sweet <laughs> ASMR right here, folks. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Let me just, like, get through a, a portion of the bag. So, how are you feeling? About the case so far? I don't know. Whatever. Well, I'm, well, I'm feeling good. I'm getting a lot of homework done. That's um, good. yeah. Oh, cool. Um, the, yeah. The case, I feel... Uh, this is weird. Like... Yeah, maybe you just don't have enough information yet. I, yeah, I don't... The point is, is that... It could have been anyone. It seems like it, yeah. I... I mean, technically, yeah. Chihiro could have killed herself, but then someone would have had to help out with all the stringing up and shit. Yeah, but the it was a it was blunt force trauma. So you could just like drop it on her head or something. Just saying, ev everyone's a possibility right now. I guess so. Also, I think actually no, I think it had to have been a guy. Did you see that dumbbell? There were so many weights on it. Mm -hmm. Again, there won't be... it can be dropped. Well, no. Yeah, I I guess, but I mean, I don't know. Dongon Rampa has some pretty crazy, like, murder weapons. <laughs> you should see three. There's some dumb garbage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways, yeah, they say he's killed thousands of people. That's gotta be an urban legend. Still, could one of us be... Could one of us really be a demented, psychic, psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder, because it's me. But words mean little right now. <laughs> I have something that will prove it. And I can show you. Because it is him, isn't it? Show me! Show me! <laughs> what do you mean by that, Byakuya? Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> How do I... Oh, can I just go straight? A basis. Is there really proof? <laughs> There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. Kimarida. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence? Did something like that really? Ah, oh. hey you two! No, that's not. I thought it might be Asahina, I was wondering. Uh oh. Big trouble! Need your help! We're busy. Leave us alone. Was he... 
What the? But it's an emergency! Emergency! Come on, please, you gotta help me! Uh, okay, are you gonna tell us or do we gotta go? Oh. This is a serious emergency! Please, please, you gotta help me! Just calm down, okay, Hina? But, but, it's an emergency! Emergency! <laughs> <laughs> an emergency? What happened? <laughs> Something's wrong with Toko! She's acting super strange! Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Byakuya? Since it's Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no and that'd be the end of it. Okay, okay, come on! Hurry! Wait for us, Hina! It looks like she heads to the dorms. Toko's room must be. You're right! Go in the dorm! Is Toko inside? Some kind of emergency? Yes, go inside! I don't know how to... Maybe I have to talk to Gakia? Oh, sorry, I, I was talking to the game, not you. I know. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong person, you waste of space. Oh, is she here? Oh, there's Tina. Oh. You guys are too slow! I think you're just too fast. <laughs> so, what's this emergency? Uh, I know well, that. after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her. You know, see how she was doing. But when we did, mm. it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. Okay, knock knock. May as well give it a shot. Knock knock. The door swung open slowly and silently. Holy crap! An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. Okay. Oh my gosh, it is her. She has split personalities. And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. She has split personalities. What was that? Mm. She's been acting like that the whole time. When I rang you a little bit ago. I'll... I'll I'll d d drive out the the killer. D d d drive out the murderous fiend. Nah. Doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door, but it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Huh? Toka was scared enough to even bar her door. Does she think the same thing as Byakuya? Does she think serial killer genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's so scared? Demo. Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Uh... Hey, be off this Oh, yeah. Guy. Do it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Hey, oh my gosh! <laughs> yes! Oh, God. I don't care if it's already been a half hour. We have to do this first. <laughs> well, we have six minutes. Hey, oh, you gotta do this. Hey, Byakuya. Do you think you could ask her to come out of her room? I mean... Uh, sure. Whatever. <laughs> huh? You're gonna talk to her, Byakuya? Wow, I guess you could be nice when you want to. Uh... <laughs> Byakuya stood in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Oh, yes. no. Oh no! Oh, yes. oh no! Please don't be voiced! After a few moments. Gotta... 
放っておいてしつこくくくくくくヨガミくんトガミだご,ごめんなさい約束守れなかったで,でも安心してこれ以上はもう私がシェノサイダーショーの好きにはさせないからはい。And I hurried to catch up. Rapina. I tried to talk to him several times as we walked, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. I just kept on walking towards his destination. Finally, his free seat brought him to a stop in front of a certain room. The library? The library? Damn, it is. <laughs> Come on, let's go in. Oh, man. Oh, I missed. I missed. Yeah, I know. Thanks, b i a k i a Um, is、um, the evidence that proves it was Genocide Jack really in the library? Don't make me say it again. Uh, check the book on his desk. Okay. Fuck this game. <laughs> no, the one that he was sitting at with,、uh, when he was having coffee. In here? No, it's just. It's, oh, that's not it then. It's right here!、Uh, it just fucked me!、Okay. It's just being dumb.、Oh, okay. Knock <laughs> it off. Is this... Um. There. No, fuck this! This game is being rude. It. I. I want to check this book that is upon his desk game. I don't think it'll let you. Check the desk. Alright, can we go into the archive room? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If I remember, on the other side of this door, it's the archive, right? <laughs> Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? Ikuzo. It'll all make sense what's here inside. Whoa, there's so many books and files. So、much dust, too. I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. Okay, uh. Um. The bottom left icon has a book there. This one right here? Oh, yeah, let's do that one. That one too. Huh? There's a death lamp. Oh, yeah, the same one I saw Bianca using in the library before. Yeah. Nanda. Do you have a problem with that lamp? It's here before, and then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. <coughs> oh. That was my、okay. fault. That's me. That's me. That's okay. Let、uh, me do、uh, the one you wanted. No, it's okay. <laughs> There's a wooden box. It's empty. Although, judging by the smudges in the dust, it looks like there was something inside. I wonder what it was. <laughs> yeah, Biakia, what was it? Oh, okay. There was an extension cord plugged in there. <laughs> it proved very useful when I was in the library. RIP. An extension cord, huh? Uh, okay. Uh. Press that button again. This one? Uh, yeah. I guess, yeah, that one. This shelf is stuffed tight with files. Without really thinking about it, I picked one at random. <laughs> huh. 
Yeah, for sure. I'd indeed just select that file. Huh? So. And that's the report on the presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. Without making a sound, I return right. the file to the shelf. Alright, then the one next to it. There's so many files stuffed on this shelf. What's in all these things? Yamero. Those documents are... dangerous. Dangerous? They can tell all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commoner. You mean like, members of the Diet or something? Huh. No, I mean the ones with real power. The secret council controlling everything from the shadows. da 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 Oh no! <laughs> if you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There are very interesting people in there. You're just kidding, right? <laughs> Am I? I'll just let it go now. Okay, there's a pile of books behind him. There's a ton of thick files stuffed under the bookshelf. <laughs> if you're thinking of looking through any of them, I'll give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. The kind of thing any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> all those files are investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh? <laughs> so, are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in the library is this room right here. Almost uh, <laughs> it. It's one to classified government documents, police records. Things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? <laughs> That's your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it as a lie. Well, it's not that. It's just... It's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? <laughs> it just goes to show how much power Hope's Peak truly wields. Or perhaps... <laughs> the Mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Uh... It's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. <laughs> What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. None. What do you mean, usually? Normal, or usual, usual, normal, ordinary, simple? Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? <laughs> Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? <laughs> that documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there is no doubt. Hold on a second. You're saying you've read all these documents, and more than once? But all this has to be, like, top-secret confidential stuff, right? So why? <laughs> My family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course. And not as dusty. Huh? <laughs> Members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? Somebody. I already told you. There's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. He is We're... Illuminati! He is the Illuminati! <laughs> we knew it! We found it out! <laughs> My family is a member of the Illuminati! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's canon, boys! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and I am within people's bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. <laughs> but to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. So, whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Huh. Which is why I can proclaim, without a doubt, that the that materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Byakia is actually starting to scare more than the actual mastermind. <laughs> what always interested me the most were the cold case police investigation reports. Reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine ever since I- DUDE! WHAT IS WRONG?! <laughs> oh lord! It's excellent mental exercise! I've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. Okay... And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites is the Genocide Jack case. As he talked, Byakia grabbed a specific file from the shelf. Sold. This is a complete case file. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases has been compiled in here. <laughs> because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. First characteristic is that every, at every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second <laughs> is that when the victims are murdered, the bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust is written in blood, and the victim's body is suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. <laughs> Save your surprise. The best part is yet to come. <laughs> For the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended, the only... Oh, come on, away. Okay. The only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and other higher ups. What happened? Oh, it was lagging for a little bit. I'm oh, fine. Okay, good. <laughs> By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? <laughs> in other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of each crime. But they were suspended? Yes, that they are suspended, and in a particular manner, too. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Oh, right, because he read about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you recall Chikiro's corpse, <laughs> a body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. So, how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? Sold. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. Somebody. The culprit isn't the copycat killer. It's the real genocide Jack. <laughs> that right, there's the evidence that genocide Jack has, written, has hidden himself among the rest of us. Then, genocide Jack really is... Such a brutal fiendish killer really is walking among us? Almost <laughs> 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 Things are starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined a killer with such a reputation that would become part of our little game. Now, I think it'd be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen. You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. <laughs> if you get down to using the bag, I might even show you myself. Uh, I guess. Go ahead and earn an using bag. Okay. <laughs> Um, Byakia, about that Genocide Jack case file, could you let me see it? Well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to take a look at it here, but you can't take it with you. Byakia handed me the file, and I flipped through it with intense, nervous fingers. Suddenly my hand stopped. I'd reached the page where the fo where photos from the scene of each crime had all been collected. 
The names of Genocide Jack's victims ran on for se several pages. Ken Harada, 32. Tetsuhiro Honda, 17. Shoji Gaku, 23. I'm skipping this page. Okay. Uh, Kom Komatsuna Taro, Takefumi Gono, Uchida Nohisa, Takeshi Masamune, Yuto Yumajima. There's no end to it. But one thing became perfectly clear as I read. All of the killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. And at the scene of every murder, the word bloodlust was left in the victim's own blood. <laughs> now take a look at the next page. Oh, sorry. Ah! Now, take, now take a look at the next page and you'll find, find another interesting tidbit. The next page? Yeah, you're shocked. We know. Let's look at this. <laughs> Profiling results. All of the crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the ki killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Oh. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely that there was any external reason for this. This confused yeah. behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from disassociative identity disorder. Oh, it disorder. is Toko! Holy shit, it is her! <laughs> Somebody. The key point here is that the culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality? The kind of thing you see on TV. So I'm part of another totally unbelievable story. So this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up till now. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. Alright. We should get going soon. Huh? Where are we going? Oh, shit. <laughs> Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Oh, wait! Byakuya! As usual, Byakuya turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. Well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the past trial. Huh? This all sudden like that? Enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation, move the investigation forward on your own. Jana. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, it f I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I'd uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack, he's the one who killed Chihiro. And that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find that out no matter what. Me, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, who is this? Yeah. <laughs> and to do that, oh. there's somewhere I have to go investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene. The girls' locker room. I should check the boys' locker room, too. And the others might have come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. Okay, real quick. Can we go to where Asahina is? Yeah. Okay, because, like, I'm dead. I'm, like... We gotta, like touch base with her. Cause like, we know there's something really wrong with Toko. Yeah. So, I, uh... Yeah, I, I know actually, you gotta go. No, 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 I don't. I gained, like, another 15 minutes, apparently. Alright, let's go! Alright, uh, first let's see Asahina, and then let's go to the boys' locker room. Okay. I should be able to finish this case before I go, I think. Wait, where is she? Uh, let's try- Where is she? Where's Toko's door? It was here, it was next to Chihiro's room. It's... Yeah, there. Where's Asahina? This is Toko's room. I should yeah. probably just leave her alone for now. Oh no. 
boys locker room. I don't like that she's. Oh god, no, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> Damn it. You like a character, and they are gone, those. <laughs> Your waifu never survives. That's the story of Doggone Rampa. Maybe, like, check the map. Uh, okay. Oh! Okay, she's still alive. Okay, she's alive! Okay. She's in the dining hall, and we actually have to talk to her, too. Let's see that. Yeah, let's talk to her. Wait a wait, 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 wait. What? No, go, no, go ahead, keep going to the dining hall. I just... Well, no, but that's not... I've been concentrating so much on... Oh. oh. No, a split personality would mean that, like, they don't know, they're not in control of what the other side of them is doing. Yeah, there's multiple kinds of disassociative personality disorder, but usually they don't have memory of what the other one is doing. So. Or at okay. least in the movies, that's how it goes. Oh, Hina, how's Toko doing? Mm. Same as before, she won't come out, and she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. So I just left her there. That's a good idea. Y you left her? No, it's a great idea. My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Uh. Oh, but don't worry. I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. No, 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 you're good. Just Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? Uh. A donut, of course. Of course. Uh. There's two things I'm sure God created. Outer <laughs> space and donuts. Yes. Really? Mm. I bet Chihiro would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. <laughs> oh my god, I have to eat it. I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like, like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. Yeah. She said that even though you and, you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. <laughs> yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. All the girls. Was she just shy? Oh. I don't know. She talked to the boys she all the time. Her. Is she a trap? Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? Is she a trap? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't join judge a book by its cover, right? Or is she you think so? or she's a lesbian. I never really saw her as that kind of girl. I mean, it's funny, but she was in the girls' locker room. She would have been shot, right? Yeah, but uh yeah, No but Leon's no, and then and Leon's little tablet Thanks, wasn't bro. even working. Well no, but she could still go in girl's locker room now. No, she, if she was a trap, she couldn't. Oh yeah, because the school would know about that. Yeah, and remember he said that two people can't enter at the same time? So she would need a sec- if she was- if she was a he, she would need, uh, she would need- oh no, I guess she could have used Sayaka or someone else's. Yeah. Shit, okay, let's keep- let's- let's keep going. Oh no, I, okay. I guess I'd take it back. I'm sorry, she wouldn't have needed Leon. No, okay. Maybe she is. You think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Huh. That's interesting. Um... Uh, there's another- the... wait, there's another one oh, down here. Oh yeah, Celeste. Mm -hmm. I just did that one in the warehouse. Yeah. How do I get to the warehouse again? This so way? So weird. Wait. No, not that not, not, not that it's weird that she's a trap, guys. Remember no, we accept we accept all people here on this on this uh, <laughs> <channel>. <laughs> Traps are gay! 
yeah, Celeste. We've never been in here. I know. Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related?